Now we are going to study about the uses of soil. So soil is performing many uses for us and uh, you know that the important uses it is serving for us is that it is a medium for growth of plants. And as you all know that we are heterotroph, like all animals are heterotroph, so they actually depend upon autotrophs for the food. So we can get the food only from the autotrophs and autotrophs are the plant and where the plant grows, it grows in a soil. So that means the soil is very important because it is a medium for the growth of plants. And why it can support plant? Because see, we know that uh, we have already discussed that in the top layer uh, consists of humus, minerals, nutrients, which are very essential for the plant growth and moreover they support the plant also. So that means it is a medium for the growth of plant and we also are uh, like uh, we are also benefited in an indirect manner because we feed on the food and food we get from the plants. Second it is an habitat for an organism. You know that habitat is a place where an organism lives and dwells. So it is a habitat because uh, we see we have seen that many organisms uh, uh, means microorganisms also and uh, the organisms which we can see with the naked eye they are uh, living in the soil. So that is again an important uh, thing because it is providing a habitat to certain organisms maybe a microorganism or can be a macroorganism. Third it is helping in percolation and retention of water. As we have already discussed that soil is somehow porous and the size of the pores actually depend upon the texture of the soil. We have already discussed that. So you know that uh, the cracks or you can say the pores actually which are present in the soil, they can actually trap water and the water which is held by the soil particle is called as you can say the soil water and that water keeps the soil wet also and it is taken up by the plant for the growth as you all know that water is very important part because with, without water the plants cannot photosynthesize and if they cannot photosynthesize they will not survive and in return we, they will not uh, provide any kind of food, fruits, vegetables and all and we will also be deprived of the food. So that means uh, this percolation and retention of water is again a property of the soil because it contains pores uh, depending upon the texture different kind of soil we have and uh, th that those pores are capable of uh, holding the water that is called as soil water which is uh, available for the plants for the growth. So this is the three important use the soil is performing for us that it is, it is a medium for the growth of plants, habitat and percolation and retention of water. And like as I have mentioned only the lines, you need to write few lines under it as I have discussed with you orally. You need to write these things under these main headings that why it is a medium for the growth of plants, second what kind of organisms do you get to see in a soil and how the percolation and retention of water uh, like what is responsible for that and how it is useful uh, to plants how, how the plants are benefited due to this property. So this is what is the uses of the soil and with this we finish this chapter of the soil. So please uh, go through all the types of the soil we discussed the soil profile also in, it forms an important question and moreover you should be uh, you should be aware of the weathering process also because that is very important because from that only you learn that from where the soil has come. So this is all about the soil.